Hey guys, it's Eric from ProfessionalPowerToolGuy.com. Today we're going to do a review of the Evolution, uh, it's the Rage 3 sliding miter saw. It's a 10 inch sliding miter saw. And if you're familiar and you saw our Rage review, which is a circular saw, you can see it's a very cool saw. It cuts through wood, steel, aluminum, stone. This one's pretty much the same thing, but obviously it's a sliding miter saw. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut through some things so you can see it in action and how it works. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually go over the saw so you can see the saw, some of the features of the saw. Then we'll show you cutting through some different material and then we'll go ahead and sum it up. Okay, we're going to go over some of the features of the saw, the sliding miter saw. Again, it is a 10 inch saw uh, on there. Some of the features, it comes with a dust collection on the back. If you want to use it like a chop saw, there's a locking mechanism where you can lock it right into place. Also has where you can lock the arm in place if you're going to store it or transport it so it stays in the down position. As you can see, you have a D handle here, very easy to work with. The on and off switch is here. If you want to make a miter cut, very easy to do. Pull the handle. You can go up to 45 degrees left or right. And at 15, you can see it automatically locks into place. Zero, all the major ones, you can lock right into place. And just lock the handle into place, and it's, it's good to go. If you want to make a bevel cut, very easy to do. Just loosen the back part here. And right on the side, you have big numbers where you can see zero to 40 degrees. You can lock it into place. It has support arms on the left and right hand side that you can take in or out. They tighten up with a screw, Phillips screw, so you can tighten them into place. Also, the base is nice and big. It's heavy enough where you can work with it without it being clamped down or anything. You can, you can use it in that, but if you want to clamp it to a bench, there's already preset holes. You can go ahead and clamp it to your workbench so it's in one place and it stays there. The system does come with eye protection, ear protection, and to change the blade. Change the blades snap. You have the stop button right here. You can change the blade, very easy to do. A couple other features it has is there's two clamping systems. You pop it in, it locks in with a thumb screw, and then you can go ahead and adjust it however you want to. Very nice, very easy. Or if you want to, you got preset holes right here. And you can lock it right into place right here. Whatever angle you want, whatever angle you need. So again, clamping system is very nice. You can do it on the left hand side or the right hand side. And if you're familiar with the Evolution or if you saw our Evolution review, you know that it does cut a lot of different material with one blade, but if you want to cut stone or concrete or anything like that, you can get a diamond blade. That will actually go right on here and you can make your cut. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and see it in action. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to just show you the sliding, um, how it actually slides to cut wood, show you a miter cut, a beveled cut, show it through some rebar and a landscape timber, cut through that so you can see that, go through a little bit of conduit, Corner bead, see how it cuts through that. Stud, one and a quarter inch pipe. And then later on we'll go into a little bit more just so you can see it in action.
Okay, we cut it with the sliding miter, and you can see the cut with the sliding, very nice and clean. Here's the miter cut, again, very clean. Bevel cut, went through the wood very, very easily. Cutting something very thin as a corner bead, very nice and smooth on there. Um, cuts right through there. You can see it doesn't bend it, it doesn't mess up even on a thin piece of material. The conduit, it leaves it, you know, there's a tiny little burr, but not, not bad. Um, you can clean that up very easy, but it cut right through that with no problem. You can see we cut through a piece of landscape timber with a piece of rebar in there and cut right through that, no problem at all. The stud came out very nice. There's no burrs, very little burrs on there. Uh, and that the metal pipe, this is an inch and a quarter pipe. We cut through that and you can see pretty much within five seconds I was grabbing it. It didn't have a problem. It wasn't hot. I could work with the material right away. And this is a top for, for landscaping on there for a retaining wall, which is about two and a half, it looks about two and a half inches thick. Put the diamond blade on there and it cut right through there, no problems at all. Overall, this is a great saw. I mean, it really cuts all type of different material. You can bring this to the job site, whether you, you know, if you're gonna have to cut some stone, you're gonna have to cut anything on there, this saw does it. Again, we were so impressed by the uh, circular saw, the Rage saw, we wanted to try it out the Rage 3, and it does everything. It does the bevel cut, the miter cut, everything on there. Motor doesn't slow down at all. Um, dust collection system, you know, pretty good. Obviously, you can see with stone, you get dust, but again, that's a dry cut. You're not, it's not wet at all. Overall, we love this saw. Um, I know most of you guys emailed us the first time asking us about evolution tools, never heard of them. Frankly, we didn't either until the home builder show. But now that we got our hands on two of the saws so far, we love them. At least these two saws, they're great. I can only imagine what their other products are like. And we hope to get to show you some more in the future. So if you get a chance, take a look at the Rage 3. If you're looking for a sliding miter saw, take a look at this. This really does everything on there. Thanks, and don't forget to check out the professionalpowertoolguide.com.